Hi! Welcome to Coastal Resort School Online Class, where English made easy and fun. I am your teacher, Teacher Irish. Can you say my name, Teacher Irish? Very good. Now, before we start our lesson, please prepare the following. Your family and friends class book, your yellow book, and of course, your pen. Are you ready? Me too. Okay, let's go. Now, I want you to open your book. Oh, get your book first. And open your book on page 7. Open your book on page 7. Faster. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Today, we're going to talk about many topics. And we're going to discuss first, what are capital letters and punctuations? Next, we're also going to talk about when do we use capital letters? What are proper nouns? What are the different kinds of punctuations? And last, when do we use punctuations? Now, as we go over the lessons, we're going to learn all about it. Let's proceed. What is capital letter and punctuation? What do you think? Let's read all together. Marks of punctuation and capitalization help readers understand and interpret sentences better. Some marks are required to prevent misread and some are optional and depend on what the writer wishes to achieve. Did you get it? Okay. Now, let's proceed to the topic, when do we use capital letters? Do you have any idea? Let's proceed. We use capital letters in the beginning of a new sentence. Again, when do we use capital letters? In the... Very good. I'll give you an example. She is beautiful. Can you read the sentence? Very good. As you can see, the sentence starts with the word she. And if it starts with the word she, we need to capitalize letter S. Understand? Okay, next. We also use capital letters when we talk about names. Can you say names? For example, my name. What is my name? I'm teacher. Teacher, you forgot already? Teacher? Irish. And Irish starts with letter I. Now, if I'm going to write my name, Irish should start with capital letter I. Very good. I have some examples here. We also have Tim. Can you say Tim? Very good. Tim is a name of a boy. Next, we also have Kate. Can you say Kate? Louder. And Kate is a name of a boy or girl? Boy or girl? Girl, very good. We also have name Libby. Can you say Libby? Louder, Libby. Very good. We also have name Billy. Can you say Billy? Billy. Very good. And plus we also have Rosie. Can you say Rosie? Louder. Very good. Okay, next, we also use capital letters when we talk about nationalities. 
What is nationalities? Do you have any idea what is nationality? It's the people who live in a certain country. For example, people who live in UK or United Kingdom, we call them British. Can you say British? Louder. Good job. How about people who live in Spain? How do we call people living in Spain? Hmm? We call them Spanish. Can you say Spanish? Hmm. Again, Spanish. Very good. How about people living in Korea? What do we call them? We call them what? Korean. Very good. Next, we also use capital letters when we talk about proper nouns. When we talk about proper nouns. What is proper nouns? Do you know what is proper nouns? Proper nouns is the name given to something to make it more specific. For example, a name of a city. Can you give me a name of a city? I have one example here. Bangkok. Can you say Bangkok? Very good. Next, we also have name of country. Can you give me a name of a country? Of course, we have Thailand. We have Thailand. We also have from my country, Philippines. We also have China, Japan, Korea, America, Brazil, and many, many, many more. Okay. We also have an example for proper nouns is days of the week. Can you remember your days of the week? Let's start with Sunday. Can you say Sunday? Louder. Very good. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Mm. I want to hear your letter S. Wednesday. Again. Very good. We have Thursday. Friday. And Saturday. Can you recite them alone? One, two, three, go. Let's start with Sunday. And very good. We also have months of the year. Can you remember your months of the year? Let's start with January. January. Very good. February. February. Very good. March. Mm, your CH. Mm, take note of your CH. March. March. Louder. March. Very good. We also have April. April. May. June. July. August. Again, August. Very good. September. October. November. And December. Very good. Can you recite them alone? Let's start with January. Very good. July and December. Very good. Good job. Next. Now, a little trivia. Capital letter can be also called as upper case. Capital letter can be also called as upper case. Capital letter can be also used as or called as upper case. Can you say uppercase? Louder. Uppercase. Good job. Next, I will give you five seconds to open your yellow book. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, let's proceed. Now we're going to rewrite the sentences with proper capital letters. Are you ready? 
I'm ready too. Okay, let's go. Number one, she lives in Canada. Can you read the sentence? Very good. What letter should we capitalize? Write your answer. I'll give you five seconds to write your answer. Are you finished? Okay, the correct answer. We capitalize letter S in the word she and letter C in the word Canada. Why did we capitalize letter C in the word Canada? Because Canada is a name of a is a name of a country. Very good. Okay, next number two. Her name is Kate. Can you read the sentence? Louder. Good job. Now I'll give you five seconds to write your answer. Write your answer. Write properly. Are you finished? What is the correct answer? We capitalize letter H in the word her and letter K in the word Kate. Why did we capitalize letter H in the word her? Because, why? Because the sentence starts with the word her and every time we begin a sentence, we start in capital letter. How about Kate? Why did we capitalize Kate? Or I mean letter K in the word Kate. Because Kate is an example of a name of a girl or boy. Girl. Very good. Let's proceed to number three. Today is Monday. Can you read the sentence? Again, louder. Very good. Now. I'll give you five seconds to write your answer. Four. Write properly. Time's up. What is the answer? We capitalize letter T and letter M. Why did we capitalize letter M? Hmm? Because Monday is an example of days of the week. And it includes two proper noun. Very good. Next, number four. He is a Chinese. Can you read again the sentence? He is a Chinese. Very good. Now, write your answer. Write properly. I'm waiting. If you're finished, raise your hand. Are you finished? Okay, what is the answer? We capitalize letter H and letter letter C. Why did we capitalize letter Z in the word Chinese? Why did we capitalize letter C? Because C or Chinese is an example of country or nationality. Chinese, is it a country or a nationality? It's a nationality. Good job. Okay, next, number five. My birthday is in October. Can you read the sentence again? My birthday is in October. Write your answer. I'll give you five seconds. Don't forget to write properly. Are you finished? Time's up. The correct answer, we capitalize letter M and letter, letter O. O in the word October. Why did we capitalize letter O in the word October? Because October is the name of a month. Very good. Next. Number six. Rosie is going to Bangkok. Can you read the sentence again? 
Rosie is going to Bangkok. Louder! Good job! Now, write your answer. Write properly. Are you finished? Time's up. What letter should we capitalize? Letter R and letter B. Why did we capitalize letter R in the word Rosie? Because Rosie is a name and Bangkok is a name of a city or country. What do you think? Bangkok is a name of a city. Very good. Next, we have number seven. My cousin is Dutch. Can you say Dutch? Dutch. Again, read the sentence. Very good. Now, I want you to write your answer in your yellow book. What letter should we capitalize? Are you finished? Okay. The correct answer is, my cousin is a Dutch. We capitalize letter M and also letter D in the word Dutch. Why did we capitalize letter D in the word Dutch? Because Dutch is an example of country or nationality. An example of nationality very good next close the door can you read again the sentence again close the door very good what letter should we capitalize mm. write your answer are you finished okay we capitalize letter c in the word close because the sentence starts with the word close and every time we start a sentence, we start in capital, capital, letter. Very good. Did you enjoy it? Hmm? Did you get a perfect score? Good job. That was fun. Let's do it again sometime. Okay. Now, let's proceed to another topic. A while ago, we talked about capital letters and pronouns. Now, let's go to punctuation. Can you say punctuation? Louder. Good job. Now, we have different kinds of punctuation. We have full stop. Can you say full stop? Louder. Full stop. A little trivia, do you know that in British English, they call it full stop. In American English, they call it um, period. In British English, they call it full stop. In American English, they call it period. In British English, they call it in American English. Very good. We also have the punctuation question mark. Can you say question mark? Question mark. Very good. Next, we also have exclamation mark. Can you say it again? Exclamation mark. Hmm. I can hear letter X. Can you say X? X. Again, X. Exclamation mark. Very good. Next, we also have colon. Colon. Can you say colon? Louder. Good job. And last, we also have comma. Can you say comma? Comma. Very good. Now, when do we use punctuation? Do you know? Do you have any idea when do we use punctuation? Let's start with full stop. We use full stop at the end of a sentence. For example, My name is Kate. Period. Or full stop. In a full sentence, My name is Kate. We add full stop 
to end a sentence. Can you read the sentence again? Very good. Next, let's proceed to question mark. When do we use question mark? Do you have any idea? We use question mark at the end of a question. Can you read it all your own? Very good. I'll give you an example. What is your name? Can you read the sentence again? A little trivia. Every time you read a sentence that ends with question mark, always make your tone, tone rising. Always make your tone rising. For example, what is your name? Where do you live? How old are you? Did you get it? Very good. Now, I want you to read the sentence again. Again, louder. Very good. Next, how about exclamation mark? Can you say exclamation mark? Very good. When do we use exclamation mark? We use exclamation mark after commands and to express surprise. For example, I give you an example. Come here. Can you say it again? Come here with emotions. Come here. Louder. Louder. Very good. Next. How about colon? When do we use colon? We use colon before list. For example, bring the following. We put colon. And here are the lists. We have pencil, ruler, and glue. Again, read the sentence. Very good. And glue. Very good. Next, we also have comma. When do we use comma? We use comma in a list of more than two things. For example, bring the following. We have pencil, ruler, and glue. We have more three things here. We have pencil ruler, and glue. To separate those things, we need to use comma. And always remember, when reading a sentence that has a comma, we pause for a minute. Or we pause at a time. For example, bring the following. Pencil, ruler, and glue. Very good. We don't say bring the following. Pencil, ruler, and glue. No, we say, bring the following, pencil, ruler, and glue. Can you say it again? Very good. Okay, now, I want you to get your yellow book and open it again and let's have our practice again. Now, in this activity, we're going to incorporate capital letters and punctuation. A while ago, we learned about capital letters and now let's have punctuation. I want you to rewrite the sentences with the correct punctuation and proper capital letters. Are you ready? Are you holding your pen now? Let's start. Okay, let's go. Number one, keep quiet. What letter should we capitalize and what punctuation should we use? Write your answer. Write properly, okay? Okay. Are you finished? Okay, the correct answer is we capitalize letter K the word keep and what punctuation did we use exclamation mark now how do we read the sentence keep quiet no if this if the class is very noisy you, you tell to your classmate keep quiet can you say it again with feelings very good next number two 
Do you like sweets? What letter should we capitalize? And what punctuation should we use? Write your name. Write your answer. Are you finished? Okay, the correct answer. We capitalize letter D in the word do. And what punctuation did we use? We use question mark. And now, how do we read the sentence ending in question mark? How do we read it? Again, do you like sweets? One, two, three, go. Very good. Job well done. Next, let's proceed to number three. I am hungry. Hmm? What letter should we capitalize and what punctuation should we use? Can you read the sentence again? Louder. Very good. Write your answer. Write your correct answer. I'm waiting. Okay, time's up. What is the correct answer? We capitalize letter I. And what punctuation should we use? We use, we use, full stop. Let's read the sentence again. I am hungry. Very good. Next, number four. Shopping list, eggs, meat, and fish. Now, what punctuation should we use to separate the list? What do you think? Hmm? Write your answer. Please write properly. I will see that. Okay, the correct answer is colon. What punctuation? Louder. Colon. Okay, we write colon before the word eggs. Now it will become shopping list, colon, eggs, meat, and fish. Can you read the sentence again? Shopping list. We have and very good. Now let's proceed to number five. I like apple, popcorn, and ice cream. Mm, I have three items here. I have apple, popcorn, ice cream. How will I separate those things? What punctuation I will use? Write your answer. Are you finished? What punctuation? What punctuation? We use comma. Now, as I, as I have said, when you see a comma in a sentence, when you read it, you pause for a moment. For example, I like apple, popcorn, and ice cream. Can you say it again? Very good. Okay. Now, did you understand our lesson? Close your yellow book and let's have a recap. Before we have a recap, I hope you perfect your quizzes or your activity in your yellow book. I will check that, huh? Okay, let's have a recap. When do we use capital letters? Hmm? When do we use capital letters? We use capital letters when we talk about or when we write a new sentence or in the beginning of a new sentence. We also use capital letters when we talk about names, nationalities, and proper nouns. Again, when do we use capital letters in the Very good. Now, give me an example of your proper nouns. We have your names of a cities or countries, days of the week, and months in a year. Always remember that. 
Okay? Very good. Next. We use this punctuation to end a sentence. What punctuation is this? Hmm? We use it to end a sentence. We use full stop. Very good. Next, how about this one? We use this punctuation at the end of a question. What do you think is the answer? Hmm? Louder. Question mark. Very good. How about this one? We use this punctuation after commands and to express surprise. What punctuation is it? Hmm? X. Again, X. Exclamation mark. Can you say it again? Very good. How about this one? We use this punctuation before list. What punctuation is it? We use it before list. What punctuation? Louder. Louder. It's colon. Very good. How about this one? We use this punctuation in a list of more than two things. We use this punctuation to separate more than two things. What is it? It's. It's. Comma. Very good. Now. For your homework, take note of this. For your homework, open your class book on page 7 and answer activity number 1. Please write properly. Okay? Thank you. That's all for today. Goodbye. I'll see you soon.